Yo, people, you already know what time it is. Mr. Iron Next Hood Iron Bros. And right now we're live in Birmingham. You get me? A place famous for its bull ring. A place that Stars P said if he was to live anywhere in the UK, it would be Birmingham. Kind of said it reminds him of home, the way the projects and the ends are similar. You get what I mean? But today I'm going to introduce you to an artist that goes by the name of Mitch. Crazy rapper, crazy story. All I can say is like, share, and subscribe. Comment below who you want to see next. You already know, Mr. I am next with Amber. No jumper, let's go crazy, man. Live, man, the man, Come on. legend, Mitch. My bro, you're the legend, Mitch. <laughs> Trust me, my bro. What are you saying? How are you, man? I'm good, you know, bro, man. I can't complain, my bro, man. Nah, it's good to, to finally meet you, man. For the people who don't know, like, who is Mitch? I'm a real, real person. I'm humble and I'm a creative, bro, just like you. I look at this whole thing as like a like you've got to put in bro like it, what you get out what you put in no yeah. matter what bro like in everything as well do you know what I'm trying to say besides just the music Mitch is a is a is a real down-to-earth individual yeah man I'm comfortable in myself bro I think a lot of people they want to flow like someone else mm. they want to dress like someone else mm. why the name Mitch is it based on the film or the name Mitch come from like being like the cleanest one out of my brethren, do you know what I mean? Is it? Like obviously we're all little hood ganged up youths to get me, but yeah. I used to always try, do you know what I mean? Do the suave thing. A million percent. Yeah, this is um, like the back of the ball ring, the markets. Okay. This is where you come to get your joints, you know, like that. Like, yeah. like if you want drip, yeah. this is where you have to come. What I'm trying to say is you can't hide. Danger. You just got to be comfortable in Brum. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Every time I've come Birmingham, I've never really bumped into anyone. Nah, you won't. Exactly that. Yeah, like, unless you're personally coming to Linker, man. Because yeah. you know what it is? Birmingham's a real place, bro. Yeah, Within 20 seconds, you can go tits up. Yeah. You understand me? Not no joke tits up as well. You can't come to Birmingham without seeing the bull. Or Mitch. Exactly. <laughs> Where would the, you say the like the rapping started or like the first track I found was Pagan? I got Pagans, got a lot of Pagans and time I bop them in the field, it's a mayhem you, you pinpoint where you would say this is where the bars maybe started or I felt like I had a voice with the rapping Prism is when I really thought I'm gonna do this thing That sentence is when Pagans and stuff started to get to a million views while I was sitting down Okay So the demand made me a rapper Okay, yeah, I yeah. Left music videos when it was time to come home I'm on millions of views bro I have to come and drop a tune yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to do money Mitch too you gotta keep it moving yeah. don't outstay you're welcome in Birmingham you're, you're Caribbean right? Um, my mum's Nigerian my dad's Jamaican I can hear the Caribbean influences within, in me strongly within your obviously music. growing up like the Jamaican side of me took over yeah. because of Bashman and I love Bashman. Okay. You get me? Like, that's my thing. Like, yeah, yeah. I, I was in Jamaica raving every night. Like, I was from there. Yeah. What would you say was like you was listening to maybe at that time when you were in jail or the times before that growing up? Like, I used to listen to DMX. Yeah, RIP DMX. RIP DMX. So every time, like, my dad would pick me up from school and stuff. That's what he's blasting. Yeah, you'd have that on repeat. Okay. Obviously, I'm a musical man, bro. Being a man. Bomb bed, bomb floor against wall. We sex them out to them. Bounty killer. Oh. And you wouldn't shoot them like Al Capone with guns off the other road. Mavado. I'm on the go. That's yeah. my guy. Yes. That CD is the first CD I ever had. My oh. mum bought me hard copy. Yeah. And I literally. Had that on repeat. The one that he's on the front with the Pete what? David Brooks or something like that is called. Yeah, yeah, up. yeah. Them kind of things there give you substance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And no, you know, see a girl in a jail, I'll be a man in a jail. See a girl in a jail, I'll be a man in a jail. Be a man in a jail. You get me? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah, some yeah. real shit, yeah, blood. Facts, facts. You don't see no girl in a jail, blood. Any, any UK rappers? Limewire days, bro. PBC Blatantly, you don't really wanna fuck with me. Quinny J shows buddy trying to X and me. Oh, Shaq, Shaq was yeah. my shit. Shaq's hard. They ain't robbing me no time. I put him in a suit. Black, black ties, family's a more when I That was my shit. Three Shaqs. Okay, so you were really tapped in. Come on, man. There's a youth called Paige, bro. Dark skin black, you used to do the Mavado features. Better than park it, got them one twice. Oh, hey. What the blood claw? Hey, son, I watch the gun spot. So what about Birmingham? While you were growing up, was there anything like the PDCs or? Of course there was. 
There was slash in it. The only company I need is tech, nerds and men. Boss caps and matter pumps with no condoms. Zimbo. Okay. Dizzle. They're like from my block where okay. we're gonna go but like the older generation for Brom yeah yeah man they was rapping before anyone was rapping what was young Mitch like and what bear years in jail bear years on road like trapping and that like you never get to have a break my mom told me one time like yo stop phoning me from jail like every time you phone me it, it breaks my heart I, I've gone back to my cell like, yo. I know my mum loves me and like, yo, you, you made your bed, bro. Just lie in it, fam. Mm. Stop stressing me out. One thing that I would voice to the youths of today is that just get comfortable walking alone. Mm. When it's your time, when it's video time, your interview time, courtroom time, police station time. You can only vouch for yourself. You only go in there on your own anyway. They take your Cody away from you. The bridging that you've been doing the dirt with, they took him away from you. Now you just gotta trust him. I wish I learned that a bit earlier, but I know when I learned it, I still applied it. Who's ST? You said ST is the hardest out. I say hardest out of sides. Yeah. Since ST. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So ST stardom. Aim like a cameraman, shoot, say cheese. G double O N S Q U A D. Okay, okay. Obviously, we're from the same ends, do you know what I mean? This is Brum fam, this is Newtown, this is LLZ. After Pagans, you hit up Hugh Amano with, uh, yeah, the Steam Smasher freestyle. Tired of other niggas loud of threats. Covering AK wise up with know how loud it gets. How, how did you link up with like P1 Mano? That's a good question. P1 Mano is like for the Midlands, no lie. P1 Mano's from Birmingham. Oh. Yo, big up P1 Mano, bro. They literally phoned me and said to me, yo, what are you doing next? They was phoning me like, yo, bro, we're doing this new thing called Hoods Hottest. Bro, you're the Hoods Hottest right now. You gotta link us to do it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Done it. Good reception. The Hoods Hottest that I done is on Mavado beat. Get me? It was on the last night beat. Yes, my bro. Night the last night beat. One go for them, man. Two straps, ten, man. Sitting in the green and one friend, man. Like, that went off. After the scene smash, he dropped Money Mitch. One. Yeah. Swerving up the A roads, P's in my socks, Q's in my balls, call me Kano. People really took you in at that, that moment, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was at that time, it was a demand for Mitch. The way you're describing at that time, you're something fresh and new in yeah. Birmingham. Yes. And AKA the Midlands as well. At that time, Mr. Just Blue and kind of gone. Yeah. And that was like one of the first things we had big from here. Yeah. So we wanted the next one. This is Neutrals. Neutrals? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm from Newtown. This is like, you know, blocks link up. So this is like the, the, the second end. Yeah, 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 yeah. Second home. Yes. We could come here and chill if the block was a bit hot oh, and that. Okay, like. okay. What's it like growing up in Newtown? Just the ghetto in it, my bro. Like Real trenches. Yeah, man. Don't get it twisted. Everywhere's got a real trenches. It's not really the no one's trenches. It's real shit, bro. Like shit just turns. This is Aston. So like I said, like this is another area that we was cool with. Do you get me? Like yeah. Aston, Newtown and Neutrals. A yeah. lot of shit's happened out here, bro. You can watch Scar City, bro, and fucking see a lot of shit happening yeah. out Shout here, out Scar City, you know. <laughs> yeah. Man, big up Scar City as well, man. Right now, I'm in Newtown, Birmingham. The legendary spot, Bing. Mentioned in a lot of Mitch's music, seen in videos. I think this is the real Caribbean restaurant. I made it, but it was closed. Sorry, next time. This is the front line, bro. I shot Pagans. I shot my block to your block with K Lizzie. Got cane for the cane sniffers. It was right. Make a fiend's job go stiffer. Right out here. How did you meet K Lizzie? Because he's from Manchester. A friend for a friend again. Like K Lizzie, J Avalanche, was all like a fr friendship group. You know what I mean? Yeah. Free K Lizzie, you get me? Like. My man's like, Mitch, you're going to be the hardest in Brom, fam. I need a verse off ya. Yeah. These times I weren't patterned like that. Okay. So my so he's really introducing you to the patterns. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. These times he's, he's really doing music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got the thing with Blade, Blade and Dark Flow and yeah, 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 And yes, then, yes, man, yes. he saw your potential. And my block to your block, nearly on a million views. Yeah, came in that real rap as well, man. I'm, I'm right under that light. Yeah, yeah man. You're mad, fam. Yeah. But yo, big up Minna all the time, man. My friend that works in Bing, man. Mm. She got Mr. I am next to his plate. You get me put down. It goes down out here, bro. I'm not even gonna lie, man. Like, out here, the fear, substancey place as well, man. Like, mm. obviously, I lost my bridge just there. Like, oh, we parked right. off. You get me? Like, that's on Scar City. Rest in peace, my nigga Krill. Been sitting outside there, waiting for my food. And the shootings have happened right here. Man. You get me? Like, and I'm like, what's that firework? Like, 
Aston Mitchells, Newtown are, are all brothers. Yeah. You got Hansworth, Hockley and Ladywood, so these these are them three. Okay. Everything else, like Kings Norton and that, they're not they're not um like predominantly black areas. Okay. These are the predominantly black areas. cultural areas that we've just drifted through. This is basically like you lot's Brixton. Yeah, but like, that's Br Brixton. Yeah, that. that's, that's Brixton. <laughs> yeah, what I'm saying, bro. Like, and then not what Kings Norton is that like, West. Yeah. Kings Norton and that are the areas where like my generation parents, when they would have started getting their money, they would have moved their kids to these. To them sides, okay. This is what my mum thought she was saving us to okay, get me yeah, yeah. from these places. This Everywhere's is, got its hood Yeah, though. exactly. Like when I first moved to Kings Norton, black youths weren't around there. So yeah, we'd be out a certain time. We'd bump into a group of drunk white youths and some racist ting and, and like man, they don't, we couldn't run. These places we learned, yo, one on one, no, no gang ting. Go around the corner and let's like have a, a straightener. Man. Let's have a straightener. That's what they call it. Do you get me? <laughs> a straightener. Yeah, man. A lot of legends went to Lords and Boys. Like, obviously, you got the other side, the gang members. A lot yeah. of people went to Lords and Boys that are not here now. Okay. That that man used to sit down in class with. My my brother, my big brother, was laughing like, ah, you're going all boys. I'm. He never went to this school. Okay. Because he was naughty in school, so my mom didn't want me to follow him. Yeah. So she thought all boys school. Rare, rare, rare. Yeah, discipline. Nah. Nah. Nah, 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 Even worse, mama. Yeah. But this is the famous bus stop, like, every day, there'll be 50 of us. Obviously, okay. this side yeah. is more going to Kings Norton and, like, the predominantly white areas. Okay. That side go is to, going back to where we just come yeah, from. The hood. So that side, there'll be 100 kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This side, there'll be 50. Being a predominant figure in class yeah. used to affect my grades a lot. That's what they used to say to my mum and that, like, so I was good at English. Obviously, now I can write and yeah. get me for days, like, comprehension and all of that. I used to, the teacher got, in, got sacked for sleeping with a pupil. Jeez. Okay. The teacher used to teach me, drama teacher. She used to take man home. We used to wait for her in the car park and she'd drop man home. To the hood. Literally, she's lucky that my mum didn't look out the window sometimes and see a big woman dropping man home. Mm -hmm. I got kicked out just before she started doing the fuckery fuckery, but okay. I guess that was the start of it. The police for putting people on the front page of the paper is gonna hinder yeah. any success. Yeah. Like, I was places situations were happening and i'm seeing feds and the feds are calling me mitch and i'm thinking rah or they're saying to my mum like oh my man's good at he's good at it you, you see this video and then literally the thing with k lizzie bro was nothing to do with me k lizzie got nicked for whatever he got nicked for. but because at that time i'm bay in birmingham too yeah they just thought two and two make it massive in it manchester's known for guns birmingham's known for crime these times bro do you know what i was in jail for then no I was literally in jail for um, no driving license. The, the edit says, Grime stars jailed yeah, for, jail gun for gun violence. violence. Yeah, Bro, I was in jail for driving, I swear to God. Why are you in prison? Like, was he just in London? No, I was in um, a few prisons. Like, I've been in Dovegate, like, Birmingham, Stockham, that's like Leicester, Leicestershire. Wow. That's where RA mentioned one time. Yeah, all cool, I was in with RA. You know about doing 10 summers and it weren't you Or rest that hot nozzle on your jacket and it burns through That's Wolverhampton Was it, it must have been weird Obviously you're a Birmingham rapper You come London now and everyone's maybe onto you Because they're like, oh we know your thing Is that exactly what it was, isn't it? Like, rah, Mitch, do you know what I mean? Yeah I was there for time as well, I was there for two years Getting visits off my people, coming all the way down from Brum What would you say the worst prison you've been to? One's worth conditions are um, Maza Not even major, them Maza I feel like you, you met Fredo before prison, right? When's the last time you take off a strip? I'm rolling with Mitchy, we're taking a trip. Bro, after this broski take me to Bings. So what was it like your relationship kinda strengthened within prison or Yeah, obviously in it. Like yeah. you know someone on road and you end up on the wing with them. I clocked onto your thing after the freestyle. The dream challenge. In okay, the dream challenge one. Well, well coming from Miss Maza Maza. My dogs, them are locking up the dogs, no passa passa. And <laughs> and that's when I feel like People who's not from London maybe started to clock onto your thing a bit more. Like, how do you how do you keep motivation? Obviously, at first, your music was an outlet. Then there's a demand, and then you're inside now. Like, what what kept you going? Like, was it the fans? But I was working with a producer, and my man was telling me, bro, everywhere I go, they're talking about you. Mm. Let's make a mixtape. I don't know if he was thinking about himself as a producer mm. or me, but whatever he was. 
thinking it worked bro like he made me get to start making music i don't even um work with that producer anymore like how did you get the means to even record two iphones plug your headphones into one yeah like you're in the studio yeah and the one that you plug the headphones into you play the instrumental yeah and the one that's um no headphones are in you you're spit, that's the mic yeah and then you take the headphones out and record another one to let the producer know how you're trying to sit on the beat and that's exactly how we done mitch take one and what you had features on there like stardom st what you're telling me i ain't buying what the new use are selling me squeaks let me spark this up used to keep the free five on my waist i never used to park it off yeah i had stardom on there squeaks was on there squeaks was in a birmingham jail yeah i was in the same birmingham jail well after the release of mitch take one you've obviously followed up with um the joint with freddo pg tips yeah I'm riding around with Mitch, you know he's part of the gang We're always keeping shit pattern, that's just part of the slang I was in jail and he gave me that verse Yeah He definitely encouraged me and, 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 and pushed me and you know what I mean? Like yeah. at that time, it was my accent as well like, Yeah, listening to, listening to Jailhouse Mazina Mazina I'm hearing and seeing the picture you're painting, like describing what was going in and. And then guess what though? What? Again, this is how you know this is a real interview, because guess where I got the um to write Jailhouse Mazina. You know, see no gal in a jail, I'll be a man in a jail <laughs> So I was learning the process of making a mixtape, but making a mixtape while I was making a mixtape. And you're doing it in, in jail in, in so the most unorthodox way as literally well. Literally, I was getting spun, bro, losing my phone. I'd have to buy new phones. I was, you know, like it was going through it. Times when the wing was hot, I had to wait to get my phone out. My producer's messaging me, yo, I need that verse, yo, yo, yo. And I even had a padme at that time, and my man's like, bro, you're making a mixtape. And I'm like, bro, watch this. That's the one from jail. That's a million, one million. streams. Do you know what I mean? 2017. And zero quality. So that could only be substance why yeah. there's so much streams on that. It also shows that it's all about going and getting it. Do you get what I mean? Because while you was in jail, you could have really been on this, ah, I just wait till I'm out. You had the motivation and the and the drive to, nah, there's something bigger. I want to just get this out and let them take in what I'm going through and it will pay off. Million percent. Where I've just took you, bro. Man don't know about no tax, man. <laughs> you that, get what I'm saying, though? Man. Yeah, it's the next man. This is the fold. Okay. We're in Kings Norton, but we're on the fold. This place made, man, bro. Money Mitch wanna shop on here. This is where you said you really learnt, like, big boy stuff. This is where I learnt about other cultures. White boys inviting me into their house, and their mums move different to my mum. Like, so you're learning about their setup and yeah, how they grew up. I got a brethren from Kings Norton called Johnny Daly, bro. My man's famous from around here for knocking people out. He's got a one bum. They call him one bum Johnny. You get it, like, <laughs> get the wonder bang. Man put this place on the map, bro. You know, obviously there's people before man. Don't get you twisted. Like we. We come from the hood and turn this place up. Mm. Yeah, man. Kings no jumper, Norton. man. Welcome to Kings Norton. You get me? We're Mitch. outside, man. You know? Really? You know? Some Kings from the Norton, my Sky Juice from Bings. After that stretch and being away in jail, you've obviously come back and released Fresh Home. 18 months, it flew quick time. Fast, fast. People have seen you release the project in jail and they just anticipated for when you're the, home. So I'm coming home and I don't know about music scene. So, as soon as I drop Money Mitch 2 Money Mitch 1, I had to give him 2 Mazza had me standing in a dinner queue and, and at that time, yeah, I came out, yeah, I was banned from Brum Okay I've lived in a hostel in London wow. I had like two curfews, sign on 5 o'clock, sign on 7 o'clock You know, to do the mad thing Shit and, and when I'm saying I was living in London, bro, I was living in Beckenham That's not even, That's London. Not even London Yeah, exactly That's far Restriction Bro, I swear down, that was probably one of the worst times of my life, you get me? I just, I just found one studio that was like 10 minutes away from my hostel Yeah And I started making a mixtape basically You get, like I've ended up being smart bro and doing some research bro and clocking yeah like Just because probation says you can't drop music That's not gospel Yeah yeah just yeah Just because a woman says oh if you drop music you go in jail You can really sit in jail for music Obviously if you're on an order you can That's bullshit bro because you could have sold the music to GRM Daily or Grime Daily or a label yeah. like it's not you putting it out anymore. How yeah, can I get? They're putting it. Yeah, out. how can I get done for my man putting the music out? Okay, which makes sense why you didn't really release on your on your platform. You get me, it like was the, it was the platforms that released for you. Exactly. Okay. So that that was the that was the thing that I was doing at the time. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So literally, I got Money Mitch two out. 
they swallowed that up, bro. That went mad, bro. That then they removed it. Yeah, they removed it. Only recently it got removed. Oh. It was on 5 million views before it got removed. Major. Obviously, after the releases of Fresh Home, Money Mitch 2, you dropped a Mad About Bars. You don't respect my ting, thunder and lightning, cause we ain't sliding on your side ting. You, you're obviously, you're feeling yourself because obviously you've done the tape in jail, you've come out, there's still a demand. Yeah. And there's a time where I feel like certain rappers, they just get in their bag and they're like, you know what, fuck everyone, I'm just sending for everyone. Yeah. I'm just going at it all. Was yeah. that that situation what, or was it some Kind real... of. I've been sat in jail for like two years, two and a bit. Rapping, rapping, rapping for nights away, nights away. Just mastering the craft. And... Obviously, bro, when I come out and that first mic, and the first mic was one that hangs from the ceiling, Kenny Allstar, mad about bars. Yeah. Come on, bro, I'm going to go stupid. I think I went too stupid because at that time, I didn't know how to um, say things without saying it. How to articulate yourself. Exactly. I want people to deep this, you know. Whatever I said in my Mad About Bars, only the person I spoke about was supposed to know what I was talking about. I didn't expect it to go so viral. Yeah, I didn't like, expect a man, like people, to put it out and be like, well, oh, is it this tune? Is yeah. this in me? I didn't think I was that powerful. Yeah. I just thought, a man are gonna take it and hold it. Oh yeah, yeah. this me. Yeah, like it's a subliminal. No, and man. even Kenny said to me, like, yo, like, bro, that was a mad thing how that one even got taken down. Like, that was the feds. Bro, at that time, yeah, my Mad About Bars was on like half a million views in five days, yeah. There's like at moments you felt like you had it all and then bam, it's like you got a But then, but then again, when you're saying that, in my head, I didn't know I had it all. I didn't when I got half a million views in five days. I just thought, I'm doing well in it. Then, bro, you didn't make songs to blow. You just yeah, made you it made, and it you happened. You made songs because it's a banger. Yeah, and it happened, you blew. That's why the scene's not the same, is it? Because yeah. nowadays it's a stencil, like, it's all a structure. Copy like, and paste and that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just done Money Mitch 2. Done Ma Mixtape Madness. Yeah, Mastermind had just done, but New Drip was before the remix. Okay. Listen, New Drip came first. We're viral and slide down a ride within a rush, though. Kid, don't be talking with a tough tone because I was supposed to be on the remix, but our managers were saying you've done too much together, chill out. Choose free Z call, man. Obviously, linked up with uh, Stay Fleet, get Lizzy, yeah, drops, yeah, 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 drop yeah. free smoke, yeah, yeah. The only one with smoke in the room, I ain't talking about no weed smoke. Yeah, and then yeah. the daily duppy, all in this time, like all back to back. So, you got you got July, August, September, November, just consistent back to back drops, yeah. The Daily Duffy as well, crazy one. Like Kodak, I don't need features. For Xmas, I bought me some heaters. Crazy, innit? Crazy. I lost it on that, bro. Big up GRM for that Daily Duffy. I want another one as well, bro. Following on from the Daily Duffy, you've obviously kept the strength. Um, and you've dropped Baddie. Yes. My bad bitch just called, said she wanna snatch her waist. She wanna boob job, she gonna ask her mate. Couldn't give up. Yes. I couldn't give this up. How they go on like they're bringing us Wasn't standing outside thing with us Modern warfare yeah. If you saw what I had under my sleeve When I come you know I won't underachieve All back to back Baddy was um, one of my big ones still Yeah I think that helped me a lot It's a bit more than I even know Do you know what I mean? Yeah Yeah after win was yeah the fumes engineer I figured out to get this money in some big amounts And all this hating on me cause I got a bigger house and the fire in the booth The fire in the booth and they don't pe pe press it, they just press record You're typing on your keyboard and you ain't been abroad And the, and the Pac-Man TV joint Yeah, 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 I forgot about that, hot spot Yeah, hot spot Man drive past feds like the whips and short It's soft rap but they think it's broad I had a break and then I, that was like coming back Yeah Do you know what I mean? Mm. So I just gave them the rap and the drill I try and do that a lot of the time though, rap and drill I try and do both bro so I can, I can please everyone you said you got recalled as well. Yeah, I did, you know, bro. I did out. I went straight back after like a week. But I was 10 minutes late, bro, and they sent me back to jail. Wow. And I felt like at that moment you were teasing the, the new tape exactly, as well. Exactly, bro. And I went back to the same jail, like, you know, so it's the same screws. And yeah. remember, you know, all these screws know Mitch. Like, they know me. Like, yo, you're about to blow. What are you doing, back? But big up everybody, though, that um, was putting me through hell and that, like, Telling me I can't drop music and all oh, the probation officers and that. Some good ones though. Yeah. But then there's there's some that's gonna they're gonna watch this as well. Big up man. Big up Jack Life man. Do you get me? Shout out Jack Life. Yeah. Every time man. What what's your relationship like with Backrow? Did he hit you? Do you hit him? I or hit him. You know. He is one of the most, if not the most, 
realist artist. I mean, as a person, just okay. as a genuine person. So you recorded that together? Yeah, yeah, yeah. From yeah, scratch? Yeah, yeah. Literally, he came to the booth, jumped on a beat like, yo, let me write a hook. Because I knew, yeah, that I didn't want Backo to do the chorus. Not, not because you can't do them or nothing like that. He's a hook guy, so, so you don't give the hook guy the hook. And I've been working on my hook, so fuck that. I'm doing this hook. And obviously, bro, I've done the double entendre. They told me to stay off the road, but the back road, that's where dreams come true. They told me to stay off the road, but the back road, that's where dreams come true. You get me? He's like, let me go in the booth. He's just come in, you know? No pen, no paper, no phone, no nothing. My man's just got in the booth, bro. Larry. My man's just said, Guess you did it. Back up, get with it. I don't like niggas around me that fidget. Guess you did it. Back up, get with it. I don't like niggas around me that fidget. When he came out of that, that booth, I was looking at him like, Bro, are you trying to violate me, bro? <laughs> Yo, big up back old G, bro. For him, man. A man said, Where's Smithwick? Smithwick? <laughs> and about Smevik. Oh, Smevik. <laughs> yeah, man said Smithwick. There's no V though. Exactly, bro. No... This is a Carly, bro. Like, um, one of the, he's one of the biggest producers in, like, the Midlands. Do you get me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hard, bro. Grab the scrolling. And this ain't no shade, but you're in the shade, bro. I'm a section trolling. I can give you a page of this book that I write, but I ain't no JK rolling. I ain't no J. If you know JK rolling, you know. Top <laughs> round. Top <laughs> round. I can give you a page of this book that I write, but it ain't no Listen, JK rolling. No magic ones in that. I can give you a page of this book that I write, but it ain't no JK rolling. How would you feel if I didn't come back from a drill? Would you even business? They say that I'm so artistic to witness, I don't need no witness. School was good comprehension. I right, listen. Fans on the ground school. school, I was good comprehension. Listen, I told you, I told you outside the school. Yeah, <laughs> listen. No no. This is it. I'm not playing no more. Oh. Oh. I went lords with my cardies, got my manners from the yardies Fast forward all nine, then I met the Marley But trust me, Jano, imagine rapping to this piano One no reason in with my shadow When we was running out ammo like this shit soprano Unfair, hey. they act deaf hey. hey. We're going again hey. And you're really talking uh, about hey. everything we just want <laughs> Listen, Jack Smile, Lord in Love. Where did this really come from? Yeah. Where really did really this come from? Yeah, all these spots. Yeah. Yeah. Accident. Camo, see this big bow and arrow. This is drum. This ain't Brixton, but they're so shallow. Man. We lost Krill, it was hard though. Get them back like Chicago. My rap's Jackie Green, it's Jack Harlow. Look, it's unfair. They lack death, but they know I'm there. They say I'm underrated, but they're unaware. Hey, Carly, you know when your own shit give you goosebumps, bro? Aye. Yeah. That's the rap bag. Mm. That's it, mix That's tape. it, man. Mitch tape three. Yo, cut that, pre-save that, all of that. Remember, swipe up. You heard it here first. <laughs> all of that. Live. Bram all Town. That, my bro, man. My guy. Thank you for having no me. No jumper, man. bro. Got no jumpers on, bro. You get it? Tell no him, bro. Cat, no man. jumper, bro. We're here, Mr. I'm Next Hood Attenborough, live in Bram. Well, that's the one and only Bram, Mitch. Man. Remember, like, share, and subscribe. Go get Mitch tape free, it's loaded. My kiddies catch him scheming, they sending them to the mall. If you don't see that boy today, we gon' catch that nigga tomorrow. And my drive bought this rave, now I'm closer up to the stars.